z equals negative 6.64. Now you've got to shade your picture appropriately. So let's look at our, our question again. Are we trying to look for the area to the right or to the left? Read it carefully. Left. Blah, 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 blah. So we 98.2 or lower. Look at here's the here is the z score for 98.2. That's the that's the marker. Now you're going to try to figure out where's lower, to the right, or to the left. So we're looking for this area right there. What are you going to look up on your table? What would you try to look up on your table? Negative six. Negative six. Now if you look at can I borrow that? If you look at your table. Yours broken or something? No. Oh, there we go. Broke your table. If you look at your negative z scores, it stops at negative 3.5 and it says something down there. It says for any z score outside of negative 3.5, you're going to use what value? I hope it says that right there. Negative 3.5 and lower. Use point zero 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 one. For us, that's not even going to be very accurate, but you're going to use it to signify that the area is actually not zero. There is some chance that that's going to happen. Is it very likely? Yeah. By the way, if I find this area is 0 .0001 like it is, do I need to subtract one from that for this case? No, it's giving me the area to the left, and that's what I'm looking for. So this probability is 0 .0001. Someone with a calculator. Look it up on your calculator. So this was from your table. You got point zero 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 one. How about a calculator? It's ten zeros and then one five seven. You plugged in negative ten to negative six point. How, how many zeros? Uh, negative or, uh, ten of them left to the decimal or right to the decimal. Like five, that? Five seven seven at the end. One five seven seven. Okay. Is that a large probability? By the way, um, this is how inaccurate that table is for this information. This is like a billion times bigger than that. So just so you know, your table after the three, not that accurate. Uh, within the three, it's relatively accurate. But here, point zero zero ten zeros and then a, that's, is that probability large or small? Very small. So here's the point. If you said, if you went out there and said, I'm going to assume that the, uh, the average temperature for people is 98.2. I think everyone's wrong, and people actually run colder than normal, 98.2 degrees. And you did this, and you selected 106 randomly selected people, okay? You found their average. The probability of you getting that average temperature of 98.2 or lower is that. Is that probability big or small? What dictates big or small for you right now? 0 0.05. Remember the rareness? 0 0.05. It's less than that for you right now. That's rare. That would be rare. This would be very, very unusual. Standard deviation of negative six. I mean, my gosh. I'm sorry, not standard deviation of negative six. Negative 6.6 6 standard deviations away from the average is what you just calculated using the z-score stuff. Pretty darn rare. Why is it so rare? Look at your sample size. How many people are you selecting? How many? That's a lot of people, right? That's a large sample size. So yeah, maybe some of them are going to be less than 98.2. I am, but you're not. And probably you guys aren't. You know, you're going to be right around 98.6 or higher than that. So averaged out together, if there's 106 of us, it's going to be really, really close to this. And if it's not, it's really rare that it's not. That's what you're, you're showing here, is you're trying to find the average of the whole grouping of people, their average being greater than or less than a certain number. By the way, if we change this, if we made it like 98.4, if we made it 98.4, would this probability go up or down? Up or down. 98.4. We'd have negative point two. two. Probability goes up or down, what do you think? Z-score goes up. So probability goes up for this case. We have a greater probability that happened. Um, I, you could ask many different examples too. What's the probability of greater than 98.2? If you did that, if I asked for greater than 98.2, which side do you shade now? Right. You'd have really darn close to almost 100% of the people are going to be greater than 98.2 as an average, as an average, not an individual, but an average. How many people feel okay with this? 
So we've made a transition from looking at individuals to looking at samples and averages of samples. That's our transition. Do you feel okay with the chapter six stuff that we've just covered? So at this point, I expect a few things from you. First, I expect you to be rock solid on looking up z-scores and finding probabilities, and looking up probabilities and giving me z-scores and values, going forwards or backwards with that table that you have. Using your calculator if you need to, that's fine. I also expect you to be rock solid on distinguishing between a z-score for an individual and a z-score for a group, like we've been practicing here. You've got to be really good at that, because you're going to have information right next to each other. One, th one question you do one way, another question you do a different way. Even if it has the same numbers, you'd be doing it a different way, based on that, the question. Yeah. Um, just a question, like when it comes to our homework or doing any work, would you, if that were a possibility of that being our answer, would you rather have the answer from the calculator or from our table? It doesn't matter. Doesn't I matter. check both. Okay. Um, if you're going to do one or the other, just say this is from the table. On your test, tell me. If it's from the table or from the calculator, say, I am using a calculator. I'm like, okay. If you're using the table, then no problem. But you want us to write it out like that, even though it's because the calculator gives it to us in a scientific notation? Write it out. Because I, I'll have a lot of people giving me this. The probability is 1.6. Yay! No. That's 160% probability. And <laughs> then you're going to be that. No, don't do that. Um, if you're going to do 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10th in this case, or some, whatever that is, 11, um, move it over. Good question. Any other questions? Those are great questions. Thank you for those. Anything? Otra. Anything else? You sure? You sure you sure? Now, we are going to start something else here.